It's just hours ago, the DA's office confirmed Davis stabbing suspect Carlos Dominguez is not competent to stand trial. And keep in mind, the announcement comes just days before a second week of testimony was set to start. ABC 10's Garge Paul Sanga is live in the studio to explain. Yeah, Chris, this is a major development. Essentially pauses the trial so the suspected serial stabber can get the help so we can understand the situation he is in. Now, one local community, one local criminal defense attorney says it should have never gotten to this point. The suspected Davis serial stabber sent shockwaves of fear and panic across the Davis community as families demand justice. Tonight, both the Yolo County District Attorney's Office and the Public Defender's Office agree the suspected Davis stabber Carlos Dominguez is not competent for trial. This development comes as both sides disagreed on that assessment, which led to the competency jury trial. Dominguez, the former UC Davis student accused of stabbing three people, killing David Bro and Kareem Najim. This announcement came today after both sides met with the judge today for a routine hearing, but now both sides putting things on pause. Yolo County Chief Deputy District Attorney Jonathan Raven telling ABC 10 in a statement based on the information that came out in the trial and recently initiated involuntary medication proceedings. We are now in an agreement that Mr. Dominguez is presently not competent to stand trial. Dominguez's attorney Daniel Hutchinson told ABC 10 he is pleased with the announcement. Hold on, sir, you have a Fifth Amendment right. Hutchinson says the turning point was likely related to the comments made by the judge last Friday. I'm very concerned about the defendant's well-being. I've told the parties that, and um, I have not been um, presented with any uh, petition or request uh, for court-ordered medication. Jail psychiatrists testified that Dominguez had schizophrenia and was gravely disabled. It almost makes you question why they went through this. Um, you know, it gives false hope to the victim's family as well. Sacramento defense attorney Mark Reichel has dealt with a similar case, and he says now a state hospital will be tasked to get Dominguez to a level of comprehending the charges he is facing. That could take anywhere from six months to five years. Uh, and so it's, it's, it's science and it's sent to the, to the experts now. And now we did reach out to some of the families impacted by this crime, but they did not want to comment. Now, the criminal proceedings for this case are being suspended until he can stand trial. Now, both sides will be in court on Monday to excuse the jury.